Oh wow, today he is a very handsome man. He is tremendously, tremendously talented. He was born in Rio Bueno in Jamaica. To his mom, he is Desmond Mendes. But to the world, he is Charlie Black. Yay! Hey! hey. Wagwan. 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 Hi, are you in traffic or yeah, what's mama. happening? Are you in traffic? Did you just park on the side yeah, of the road to do the interview? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're about to go on a, on, a, on, a, on a video shoot right now. So, oh, uh, all right. Uh -huh. an interview with a school over on the highway. Uh, oh, okay. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you for, for making, making time, time for us. <laughs> All right, so let's um dive right into it, um, Charlie Black. Maybe for the people who are watching you for the first time, let them know who you are and how you got into the music industry. Well, I am Charlie Black, a dancehall artist from the countryside of Jamaica. And I professionally started out in 2007. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. With a song called Buddy, 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 Buddy. No, See, yeah. From, from, there, from there, we never really look back. We just keep uh, on mm -hmm. putting the hard work, just like now. You know yeah. what I mean? Wow. Yeah. All right. Ch Charlie, Charlie Black, you've been in the industry for such a long time, and you have managed to still stay relevant even in the midst of a, a new crop of breed of a new artists mm -hmm. that come in. Well, how do you remain, uh, like, how do you remain still afloat in an industry that is rapidly changing um just be myself mm -hmm. because most most of most most people them don't them not really be themselves you know mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i always try to um keep my roots mm -hmm. wow. and keep a, a firm grip on on, on on my foundation because at the end of the day once you lose the foundation mm -hmm. you're gonna lose everything mm -hmm. is it me yeah yes right. so yeah, I feel us. I, I'm just being relevant and staying focused by just being myself and being me, keeping mm. the other. Work. And I'm a very persistent person. Mm -hmm. You see me, I say? And yeah. I'm a very self reliant person. So at the end of the day, if I don't do this for Charlie Black, nobody not do it for me. Mm -hmm. You understand? True. So now everything I, I have to just keep doing what I have to do. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And uh, my EP just released so many reasons. Mm -hmm. And it is doing good all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy for that. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I'm like, Charlie Black, let me just ask this. Huh? Initially, you were called Tony Mental. Okay, so what happened? Why did you, you know, decide to, you know, change, um, stick yeah. to Charlie Black and, you know, change your name to what we know you by at the moment? Because mm -hmm. um, Tony Mataran was a bigger celebrity for me at the time. Mm -hmm. He was a bigger selector and he was also a bigger artist because remember that he had this song called Dirty Wine. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, um, we were in the same field. Mm -hmm. So and I don't like the comparison. So I have to uh, just change everything. Okay. Wow. So, so why? Man. Yeah. So and why Charlie I, Black? I used to be very darker than this. It's mm. just because we start traveling more. Mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> 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 I used to be very darker than this. Uh, so all this, right. I was very, very black, like jet black. <laughs> so, so what happened? I'm bleach, you know? Oh, you bleach. Just so you know. No, I didn't bleach. Oh, uh -huh. wow. <laughs> money is good. Money, the money, the money, money is good. The money you know, was good to you. When the money is coming in, you start, you know, even your complexion changes. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But, but let me just slide yeah. this. I can basically say that you put dance in dance hall, but still yeah. be very quick to tell me, like, girl, you're a party animal. And then next minute you're telling me you're too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> How does that come about? What's the inspiration behind these two people who can give dance hall, really hardcore dance hall music and really insightful music? Yeah. Um, repeat that. Can you repeat what you just said just now, please? All right. I said you put the dance in dance hall like you're basically that artist that can tell me to wind up and coach and then still tell me oh. that I'm too blessed to be stressed. So what what's the inspiration between these two people? Because you can go really hardcore and then give us this very good conscious music. All right. Originally, I'm a multi-talented dancer art from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I don't really sing one type of music, but mm -hmm. some of the times, some of what I put out, 
people, you have different strokes for different folks. That's mm. what you say in Jamaica. Mm. Sometimes people just appreciate a different type of music. So I can't sing one type of music. I never normally do. Mm -hmm. Either way. Mm -hmm. Because when I had this song called Body Body and Mataran have a song called Dirty Wine, everybody thought that me and him was the same. So I have to sing a song called Chillin' in my barn and grow. No <laughs> sufferation the boy I go through. Mm -hmm. And me not give up because I'm multi-talented. If me not rich this year, next year no pass. Because my barn is a hustler. If me not rich this year, next year me have a step. All right, so when I sing that song, mm -hmm. yeah. many people saw that I'm a very different artist than him. Mm -hmm. So they se the separation of a one yeah. right away, you know what I mean? So what I was saying is this. Mm -hmm. I don't sing one type of music. If mm -hmm. you're in a mood mm -hmm. to, listen, to listen, listen to some hardcore songs, you can get it from Charlie Black. If you're in a mood mm -hmm. to listen to some nice, cool vibe drinking red wine, you can listen to some Charlie Black. If you mm -hmm. feel like... You want to go reggae, mm -hmm. you can listen to some Charlie Black as well. Yeah. I'm like a jukebox. You're supposed to can punch and <laughs> yeah. get all type of music. Yes, mm -hmm. that's, that's true. What I, that's how I see myself. All yeah. right. And what inspires like the songs you write? Is it like something you see or do you hear a beat and like um, write to it? What inspires your writing? Life overall because mm -hmm. I travel. So, you know, it helps as well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful females like like on the same way you don't know <laughs> yeah. um, we will just stand up and just pay attention to oh whether whether you're a dancer or whether you're just a person who have the 95 mm -hmm. i'll sing something about it mm -hmm. because most people don't pay attention to topic yeah. most artists just follow trend mm. trend is very easy to follow yeah but very hard to create yes. mm -hmm. you see what I say? yes yeah. yes I yes so i always try to set my own trend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm gonna take you back for a bit you know wine and coach was one of the biggest hits among you many many hits that you had and it's very unfortunate that we lost jay capri at a very you know yes. young yeah. age and today being a wednesday we have to celebrate all women and of course you know just in memory of her how was the loss for you you know she was just starting out she mm -hmm. had um immense talent and she was just amazing how was how was that for you how was that experience for you it was very tragic because mm -hmm. um i was at a part in the countryside in mm -hmm. Sentan, to be honest mm -hmm. and then my my road manager and my dj also crabber genius he's the one who called me i mm -hmm. was listening to based at um stone of and metro media on the beach mm -hmm. because they normally keep a sunny night thing you know down in 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 my community mm -hmm. in, close to my community mm -hmm. so i went there and he called me and said yo jacob we just met in an accident but at the mm -hmm. time she 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 wasn't she, she never did is it me mm -hmm. so it wasn't a good like me stand up for the rest of the night when i heard the news it's like i was there but i'm not there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm you so, understand? so sorry. Yeah. So yeah. even the entire past, you know, it was even um, worse. It's just that most of the times then where they have um, um, like uh, memorial stuff mm -hmm. for her, I have already had um, prior engagements to go feel feel sad after the and just deal with it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. that's true. So, so sorry yeah. for, for your loss. But you are currently yeah. eyeing the Grammys mm -hmm. after releasing so many reasons EP, of course, on the February 26th. And they seem there seem to be like a seismic shift from the hardcore dance hall to now a softer side. And in your words, you say that you want to play songs and sing songs that even grandmas can listen. So mm -hmm. let me ask you, why the seismic shift? It's not a shift. It's just that something that I always wanted to do, but nobody's not giving me the chance to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Because everybody see me as an hardcore dancer who make the girls them whine and, and go on with other stuff yeah, to make yeah, keep yeah. the party going. Mm -hmm. But this is something that I've always wanted to do. So I got the opportunity, so I'm doing it. And mm -hmm. these are songs that will really sell more to my fans them to, 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 to people who really like these type of songs, mm -hmm. if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. More yeah. international. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, understand? It's true. not yeah. for one market, it's very marketable. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. I got so many reasons why I need you in my life. <laughs> I got so many reasons you have to be my wife. 
I got so many reasons. You are my best friend. More than a million reasons. You simply the best. You soon find out, say me a man, baby. After you make the right decision. Me represent the parish of Yellow Yam. In all your life, yes, me stand up strong. Let's go on a vacation. Me and you, that vacation. No regular place, no location. Australia and New Zealand. I know that you're tired. I'm getting hurt over again. But I can say the same thing to you. I got so many reasons why I need you in my life. I got so many reasons you have to be in my wife. I got so many reasons you are my best friend. More than a million reasons. You're simply the best. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. so should we I'm expect like another body of work from you since mm -hmm. you know you've decided to surprise us with something completely different in this new body of work are you going to go back to the charlie black that people are used to yeah of course because mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's just that i want this type of this ep to be something different where mm -hmm. You don't have to skip any of the songs. Mm -hmm. You can play it amongst oh, your grandparents or your kids or everybody. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was what. That's why it's got so many reasons. Mm. Mm. Wow. Fantastic. And, All wow. right. You know, we uh, have so many reasons for you to stay tuned because Charlie Black is not going anywhere. He's going to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back. So don't go anywhere because we got so many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we still have Charlie Black in the building, but let me sample just a few of your feedback from our Facebook page. Unisha Njeriana Tema, hello ladies, looking good. Sponsors in the way out, because easy comes, easy ca easy goes. I think she meant easy come, easy go. Nana, my mentor, Nakwenda Bure, thank you very much, but I need to get the right, let me, just give me a second, but... I see the love. Thank you so much for always tuning in and always giving us company every other time. Faye Wamwangi and Asema Nana looking good as always. Karan Oliza is in Kenya now. He's here in studio. You've not seen him. <laughs> fashion, but yeah. Um, Buddha Wamaya and Asema Elbon tuned in. Uh, Kelly Kadiri and Asema tuned in from Saika. Galio Party Animal is my favorite. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for sharing. Do yes. we have any more feedback? Uh, Do we? No, we, we don't have, have we okay. still don't have um, SMSs. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Um. So Charlie, you've had a very long career in, in this industry. So maybe what are some of the challenges that you faced and how have they changed over the years? I mean, I don't see nothing has really changed because I'm still working. Mm -hmm. And whatever you have and still happening, the only thing that... that Party animal and wine and catch really, really open some doors for me. So I'm mm -hmm. just using the opportunity mm -hmm. to entertain those people who just getting familiar with Charlie Black. Yes. Yeah. All right. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you've worked with Jean Carlos all the way from Colombia. Yet Colombia is like a Spanish speaking country, but yes, you still go there for gigs and stuff. How do you maintain your, like, how do you do it? Because mm -hmm. so many people have tried, but they are calling you that they don't understand English and it's a Spanish all through and sometimes you're the only artist, I only English speaking artist. Mm -hmm. How is that like for you? Um, I, to be honest, it's, it's not something that planned in it. I just be myself, mm -hmm. sing my music, mm -hmm. do the promotion, mm -hmm. continue, just continue work and, and by the help of the Almighty Father, mm -hmm. everything work out the best way possible. As we yeah. said, more, the eyes of where part animal reach, I've, I've never expected it. We just mm -hmm. keep working because they don't know. Music is music. You don't know who's going to like mm -hmm. like what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. You know I mean? I must... if, even if you even if you try mm -hmm. two times, four times, five times and fail, you continue trying again. Mm -hmm. Yes. I must admit that it's very true. You know, music is a universal language. You mm -hmm. know, it depends with what you get. Sometimes you don't hear what people are saying, but yeah. we are enjoying the music. Yes. But anyway, you know, talking about, you know, reasons, I'm a, you know, I just ask this. You're a very busy man. 
but um are you able you know to manage family you have six children i believe or are there more <laughs> you know <laughs> so are you able to balance you know family life and you being on the road you working on your projects how is it for you how's family for you family is everything man because at the end of the day mm -hmm. um I have to just try to balance it the best way possible. Mm -hmm. Because without me putting any food on the table, no food no longer there, you know? mm -hmm. So I have to do what I have to do. I have to make a lot of sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And they've grown enough now where they understand that I'm very busy mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. So it's not really that hectic like before anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And speak, yeah, speaking of kids, um would you advise any of them to follow the same path that you have followed because you know the music industry isn't for the faint-hearted um i would let them choose their own destiny I, I i couldn't tell them to follow my path they yep. have to decide that after their own yeah mm. but if yeah. they wanted to a very, this is a very harsh world mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah if they wanted to like what would you advise them if one of them decides this is it for me dad like what would you advise them i mean whenever the time come we'll yeah. cross that bridge you just cross it mm. i i can't i don't plan stuff enough uh, okay just live and just give god thanks yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Myself, one one to reach that bridge you cross it, mm -hmm. just cross it. Mm -hmm. yeah. you said that producers yeah. Uh, like most producers didn't want you to experiment with the softer side of you in one of your interviews. And that got me thinking, like, does the producer have the upper hand in deciding what to do there in Jamaica? Because here in Kenya, you do what I want you to do. I am the boss. Mm -hmm. So how does that happen? Or is it the record label, maybe un Universal Records wants you to like focus on a, a certain genre that rather than the other one? Well, Universal, they want me to focus on because we, we, we sell um, diamond in the Latin um, world. They want me to focus on being that. But the thing is, again, mm. I never planned to sell diamond in the Latin world. It mm. just happened. Mm. So they have to just let it work naturally. Yeah. Because Charlie Black is not about money. It's not about the big links. It's about energy and mm -hmm. my energy work of a naturality mm -hmm. and the almighty father mm -hmm. you understand because mm -hmm. yeah. in jamaica as we said many 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 producers know me for one side of music yes mm -hmm. so it's like if hearing a song like party animal even i can remember when i was recording that song the producer for that song he brought like um let me see like about four different vocalists to, to verify Mm -hmm. that my vocals are on cue mm -hmm. because they have never heard Charlie Black like that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this was a song that recorded 2014, January oh, wow. of 2014. I released, I released um, um, July of 2014. Mm -hmm. So it's like they never heard that side of Charlie Black before, but I've always wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yes. Because yeah. oh. I don't see myself as an artist where, yo, we just continue the same thing over and over each year. No, I have to evolve. I have to grow. If there's no growth, that means you're not living. Yes, yes, that's true. Yeah. All right. And how has um, COVID, COVID affected you personally as an artist? I know it's affected everyone all over the world. But like you personally, have you learned anything from it? Or like, would you advise now at other artists on what you've learned? Well... It affected me in many ways because I don't make money in Jamaica. I make money overseas, and if I uh -huh. can't travel, I can't make any money. Uh -huh. And the thing is, luckily for me, I'm not a person that squander all my own. I didn't have a little thing put on my side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. I just can ensure some of them all right, and me all right, and others, my team members are all right, and mm -hmm. you know, family members as well. So, mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, it affected everybody in the world. Yeah. But right now it's time to do what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I'm like, let me ask this. Huh? You know, it's a, I, I don't know whether I should use the word alleged because, you know, I'm a big fan of Jamaican music. But, you know, sometimes people say Jamaica is um, associated with a lot of, you know, gang violence and, you know, the dance world world has just a lot of, you know, there's just a lot of violence surrounding the music, mm -hmm. surrounding, you know, the system and a lot of things. Uh, what can you tell us about that? You as a person, you being a musician, you've done dancehall and you've been, you live in Jamaica. So what can you tell us about that? 
Charlie Black is Charlie Black. Mm-hmm. Everybody <laughs> else have to do what they have to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Don't Wanna Let You Go is one of my favorite from your So Many Reasons. EP. You sure? Was it, was it like a personal... <laughs> ja- no, I listened to it in the morning. Like, uh, among all the songs, the six of them, I like that one more. Mm-hmm. But was it like a personal... Thank you. Personal, like, thing that you went it's, through, it's that like, you wrote it's it? Like, it's, 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 an, it's an experience. Uh, okay. To be honest with you. Uh-huh. I, will, I will say if it's my experience or my friend's experience or crab experience, uh, uh-huh. but it was an experience. Uh-huh. So okay. I ended up writing the song. Uh-huh. You will tell us which one. All right. So, and what what do you have to say to you, your fans who've supported you so far? Because especially in Kenya, Kenyans are a very big fan of dancehall and reggae. So what would you have to say to them? Uh, my fans are out here. I want to just be mm. safe and try to protect on the family. Try to spend some time with the family because life is very, very precious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And no one know what tomorrow may bring. So do what you have to do mm-hmm. and spend a lot of time with yourself and a lot of time with God and a lot of time with your family. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Because this world right now is going into a different direction and we all have to just brace ourselves for it mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's not like these people are hiding doing what they're doing anymore you know what i mean they're yes. they're, they're blatantly throwing things in our face say that many so many this and bugger stupidness so all i can <laughs> say is just try to stay safe out here my people and i can't wait to come to kenya because i've never been to kenya before. oh wow oh. you've never been you should once all yeah. of this is over i've never been to kenya you should uh, yes you should so definitely many come. Why I have to come to kenya <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. many reasons but you've that's been true. to africa though you've toured africa harare. before yeah, yeah, I've been harare to uh-huh. to Johannesburg. i've been to cape town uh-huh. and, and and yeah and what? okay yeah soon it's it. kenya soon soon, soon, kenya. Yeah, we expect soon to get it. <laughs> but let's talk sunday to sunday what what yeah. what are you trying what was the inspiration behind sunday to sunday i'm i'm the new party king pin you know so you got always <laughs> your party song from charlie black uh-huh. you know i try not to dwell on violence or mm-hmm. or other entities we just try keep it party vibes and Mm-hmm. And try to make sure the females them them waste and gyrate and them waste and <laughs> grease up when them going apart them yes, yes. and them and you know that's why Sunday to Sunday to Sunday um th- that's how that song came about and the big road with him mm-hmm. you know what I mean big up Robert Jones and big up DJ Tropical mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah one love is it yeah mm-hmm. and I'm like are you working um with a label are you signed or do you run your own label I'm signed to Universal yes. Records mm-hmm. slash After Club. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah. So basically, we have two album deal, and right now we have the next album really We have we have an, we have an album to give them um, in July. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, all right. okay nice. apart from um yeah. apart from the album, is there anything else that your fans should be looking forward to? Yes, lots more work. Mm-hmm. Right now, I have a song just recorded um with mm-hmm. techno uh-huh. oh nice that song is, is, is that song is called dance queen i'll be producing that song oh nice and it's a very beautiful song as well too is that yeah. a date? yeah like uh, yeah. is there is there a date that you've set to release it or people should just like stay tuned no no okay no, right. I, I i'm not gonna release it right no, because it, we're, we're still focusing on so many reasons. EP, uh-huh. yeah. because when um, I think this week I'm going to be shooting some music video in Miami as well, too. Mm. I have right. Biggie D to shoot and uh, a song called Our Anniversary. Oh, wow. Ah, all right. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, Thank you. All right. We got a lot of work. Uh-huh. All right, all right. Um, Charlie, um, unfortunately, that is the end of our time together, but thank you so much um, for joining us. We really enjoyed this interview. Thanks a lot. I'm big up all my fans in Kenya. Yes, big up, man. Don't come wind up from my body, girl. Why like it's a carnival? Girl, me love the way oh, you whine for me. Girl, you whine so emotional. So wind up from my body, girl. Me want you from one year waistline for me. All yeah, right. Yeah, me you're bubbling, you're bubbling, you're bubbling, you're bubbling, you're bubbling, you're bubbling. Yeah, you're a party 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 party
Blessings. Blessings. Yeah, yeah, blessings, man. All right. And everybody that has tuned in for this show, man, thank you so much for giving us, like, giving us company and, of course, listening to us, even though sometimes we, t we say that the weirdest things. Thank you so much. We love you so much. But we got to see you. We, we have to love you and leave you. So from us to you, it's goodbye.